What is an ischemic stroke? Well, we're going to cover that in today's video, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and we're going to talk about an ischemic stroke and how that affects your brain and potential heart health, too. So I'm going to cover that in the next section. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about ischemic stroke. So an ischemic stroke occurs when a clot or a mass clogs a blood vessel, cutting off the blood flow to your brain cells, and the underlying condition for this type of obstruction is the development of fatty deposits lining the vessel walls, and this condition is called atherosclerosis. And so you can see here there is a right internal carotid artery, so that's one of the main arteries leading to the brain and then there's a right uh, vertebral artery and then there's the right common carotid artery and the atherosclerotic plaque reduces blood flow in the internal carotid artery you can see how the plaque is building up in one of the layers of the uh, blood vessels here and how it restricts blood flow to the brain and when it cuts it off completely due to inflammation and blood clots that's where the issue occurs so we're gonna hit next here to see what happens so you can see in the picture here what's going on, how blood is kind of being you know, sent to the brain on a consistent basis. And you can see, oh, there's a little piece that just flew into the brain here from this plaque buildup that was in the carotid artery. And now, um, so basically if the plaque ruptures, tiny pieces of plaque and clotted blood can travel into the bloodstream to the brain. So that's definitely not good. We want the brain to just get clean blood, not pieces of plaque that have broken off. Um, and so that's definitely an issue as well. And when we hit next, we can see what's going to happen. All right, so now you can see here how the foreign piece or mass traveling through the bloodstream is called an embolus and if it lodges in a small artery blood flow to part of the brain stops so it's kind of like hit a fork in the road here and the brain tissue affected by the blockage here you can see the part of the brain that's starting to die off so they say life is in the blood and that really didn't hit me until I started to you know watch more of these types of diagrams and pictures which are amazing demonstrations of how blood affects the whole body but basically obstructions cause die off and whenever parts of our brain die off I mean it, it's dead and you know part your brain obviously controls your mind your mood your memory you know bodily functions there's a lot of in, involuntary functions that we don't control there's a lot of things that we do control I mean so this is so important to make sure that we have proper blood flow and don't have little pieces breaking off and I'm going to talk more about that in the next section. An ischemic stroke occurs when a clot or massive clogs a blood vessel, cutting off the blood flow to your brain cells. And so that can happen in the you know carotid artery, which is, you know, you have a couple of them, the main ones here. But, you know, you definitely don't want any plaque break off in your arteries, and you want to reduce that inflammation and blood clotting going on. And it's hard. I mean, sometimes you can even feel the stiffening of some of the arteries if you're kind of like, you know, if that's happening. Um, if not, then, you know, being able to monitor what you're eating is going to be good. Like a food journal is always a great place to start. And then watching some food documentaries is another great way to self-educate. I talk about that a lot in kind of my other videos because I believe self-education is the best education because you can get a lot of different variety sources from experts online. And Netflix is an awesome place to start. Like I, I watch a food documentary every week or two and I rewatch previous ones every year just to stay fresh and up to date and reprioritize re my health at a higher you know, priority or like topics they'll talk about I'll make sure that I'm on the forefront of those and trying to understand you know statistics and how things are, are working like because heart disease affected my mom she had triple bypass surgery um, when I was 14 you know and she had trouble breathing and all these things for me heart health is super important you know hits close to home and so for me these videos are or kind of therapeutic in a sense where it's like, man, this is the message that I want my mom to see, you know, or I, you know, she, I, I would like her to see. And, and if it's not, it's just, you know, maybe somebody out there will benefit from it. Um, feel free to share it. <laughs> but that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can get more video updates or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on.